A class is underway in the western county of Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. It's a free training class for the Shiba language in Xinjiang's Chapchao Shiba Autonomous County. Most of the students are on their winter vacations. I'm called Kong Yanjun. I'm a student of the Chapchao Shiba Autonomous County. I'm a student of the Chapchao is China's only Shiba Autonomous County. Its residents are ancestors of Shiba who were ordered to come westwards from Shenyang, Liaoning Province. They settled down here more than 200 years ago to guard the country's frontier. The language of Shiba was developed from the language of Man ethnic group around 1947, and it's been well preserved thanks to the relatively isolated environment. However, modernization is causing changes to take place in this Shiba habitation, which is close to China's border with Kazakhstan and far away from the ocean. Now, this society, going out, to meet people, to introduce oneself as a Shiba people, people will ask you, "Um, you are a Shiba people. Your own language will be written, will be written. I tell them I will write, but the writing part is not written. 但是，就面对这样一个问题啊，就说说不会这两个字的时候，心里就感觉很，觉得自己竟然是个少数民族，有自己的文字和语言，自己不会说，不会写，是不是有点挺尴尬的 ？Of course, Kohn is not the only one who has realized the significance of the Shiba language. 我叫安如玉，这个齐伯祖。An Ruyu is a retired teacher from the Chapchao Bureau of Education. She has stayed at home for more than ten years after retirement. Like many others, she used to think the Shiba language was of little use. However, she now has a feeling of crisis. Uh, I, from retirement, I think, especially in these years, I feel that the language of our culture, especially the language of language, 啊，好多少数民呃，好多这个年轻人都已经都不会了啊啊，像这个年轻人当中，那个会说不会这个文字的有百分之九十以上的啊，年轻人只会说不会写，你连语言都不会说的也有百分之五六十了，现在年轻人当中。Now Ann has become a volunteer teacher for the Shiba language training program. She always comes in early, like what she did before her retirement, leading students through morning readings before the actual class begins. Ann's biggest concern is that there are not enough people who can teach the language. Now, 西伯文的一百二十一个字母啊、呃，还有那个十二个字头，他们都可以讲，讲的都可以。但是，就是他们那个这个口头语,语和书面语之间的差别啊，还是掌握的还是不太那么熟悉。Most of the teachers here are of Shiba's young generation, including Guan Meihua, born in nineteen seventy nine. Guan works for the language committee of Chapchao Shiba Autonomous County. This is the first time she's ever taught others the language of Shiba. Uh, I'm the first time teaching. Before we already, before we also had a teaching program, but I'm the first time teaching. Before that, it was the old teachers who taught. This time, it's the first time teaching. Then it's my first time teaching. 
As the surging wave of modernization has brought the younger generation more choices and excitement, our traditional culture is losing its charm. Thus, efforts to enhance the younger generation's interest in the traditions became the top issue of those concerned about Shiba's development. 你半个培训班不单单是教西伯语，还要去吸引他们去，呃，喜欢西伯语，喜欢西伯民族，呃，喜欢西伯民族的文化，呃，像这种办的培训班就不只是光教西伯语，还呃给他们教的那个西伯文书法课，让他们感受西伯文书法的那种魅力，呃，还给他们教唱西伯语歌曲，还教他们。跳背轮舞，这些都是我们西伯族日常生活当中，呃，作为一个西伯族都应该会的东西。With the population of nearly 200,000, Shiba Autonomous County is home to the only Chinese newspaper written in Shiba language, Chap Chao. The newspaper stopped printing in 2002 and has gradually become available in digital forms. Despite the small number of subscribers. It is still holding on. Fortunately, two young editors joined the team a few years ago, which has temporarily relieved its lack of successes. Apart from the newspaper, there is also a news program in the Shiba language broadcast on the local TV station. Zhao Chunfan is the chief editor. From January 25th, it was broadcast. 以前是一个星期是三组新闻，西域新闻，呃，星期二、星期四、星期六三组新闻。In Zhao's opinion, the only way to revitalize the Shiba language is to use it as much as possible in daily life. She suggests a Shiba language translation center for TV and radio programs should be set up to help pass down the language. 准备咱们电视台设一个译制中心。把电影、电视剧呀、啊、儿童那个卡通片呀那些编翻译出来，呃，让老百姓看，这样会那个啥，我们西伯族的语言文字的传承呀、保留呀，有起起到一个很大的作用。所以这个一直从八几年开始到现在，一直我们每个在政协会上提提案，去年在全国人大会上也。委托我们的那个人大代表去那个咋提提的提案，完了以后，现在已经进入那个十二国规划了。那不久的将来可能这个要实现。